What's up, YouTube? Legend Master here with a new video. Uh, this time, a OU match against uh, the Flaming Spade. Actually, it's two matches. Uh, we had a very fast uh, first match and then a much better second match. Uh, but let's just get right into it. Uh, he's leading with a very interesting team. Uh, I think the biggest threats are going to be the Landorus uh, and, of course, our friend Honchkro, which could be a problem. Anyway, he leads with the uh, Banderus, and I think, uh-oh, it's banded. He's going to have a Hidden Power Ice just destroy me, but no, it's a Rock Polish that he fakes me out completely, and I'm like, uh-oh, there's nothing I can do. Um, he's going to completely ruin my team. Uh, now, after I played this game, I realized uh, how much this team needs some improvements. Um, actually, probably going to uh, get rid of a couple Pokemon, re-edit some EVs and stuff. Uh, this team used to be like my most successful, uh, but after playing this game, I realized how much I've grown as a battler and whatnot, but uh, at the same time, how much more I need to grow too. Anyway, this first match is basically just having Landorus completely annihilate me. Ugh. Uh, this was painful to play through, but I was like, well, I'll play it through anyway. Maybe he doesn't have Hidden Power Ice? Maybe? No, of course he does. Goodbye, Salamence. It was nice knowing you. And he gets a crit. Really doesn't matter. Landorus is too strong. Uh, just going to destroy me, and I know it. Anyway, I'm going to go into my Fire Bug, and... Uh, I figure the only way I'm going to have any chance is to set up a Quiver Dance. I'm running a bulky one, so I should take the uh, Earth Power fairly. Okay, that's not decent at all. Uh, he's just going to completely wreck uh, my Fire Bug, too. Ouch. Uh, this is just going really, really bad, and I know at this point there's nothing I can do to win this. I'm just going to get annihilated. Nothing I can do about it. And so I pretty much tossed in the towel. Uh, as soon as I saw the uh, rock polish, I knew this thing was going to wreck me. And there really wasn't anything I could do about it either. So, uh, my mixed defensive Fer uh, Ferrothorn Fortress goes down, and I'm left down to Heracross, and I do something really stupid here because of the rematch that comes up. I reveal what my set is. Reversal Heracross set, which uh, he's he knows what it is, and so he plays around it really well the next match, and uh, that is definitely something that I shouldn't have gone for. I should have just gone for the Mega Horn uh, and hoped for the best, but the Salt Berry really gives it up, and I'm just destroyed by a Landorus. Anyway, um, I said, how about a rematch? I can do a lot better. And, and uh, so he's like, well, okay. Anyway, he leads with the Banderas, and I'm running a very uh, special uh, Salamence. Has a nice investment in the special attack department. So I also ran some damage calcs. It should take it out. 97%. What? Okay, 97% chance of one-shotting the uh, Landorus. Doesn't do it. Ah, snap. Uh, so down goes Salamence. I could have really used it, too. But another crit. This... Landorus <laughs> just absolutely hates my Salamence. Anyway, I'm going to go into Volcarona, figuring, well, I can take it out nice and easy at this point with the Fiery Dance and uh, hopefully get a boost. Ouch. Does a huge chunk of damage again. Destroys me, uh, but I survive. Get rid of Landorus, and man, that thing is such a monster. Um, I know they were doing some suspect testing, and I'm pretty sure they actually moved him to Ubers, but uh, on the site it still shows up as the OU, so it's like, well, whatever. I'm going to go for the Morning Sun, get some health back, and that does help a lot. Anyway, he expected me to switch out, fearing like the Brave Bird or something, but no. Um, I knew my only opportunity was to kind of hope for something like this, and I figure, well, now that he's burned, I should be able to take a uh, Brave Bird from this guy, uh, because I have a considerable amount of defense investment. This is a bulky uh, Volcarona. So, should be able to take it. Uh, right? Right? Of course. <laughs> uh, no. Burned or not, uh, Honchkrow destroys Volcarona. Great. <laughs> uh, so, this is really putting me in a tight situation. Uh, now, I'm 
I'm making fairly decent plays right now, but I do make some mistakes too. Um, but thankfully, I'm making from some mostly decent plays. Anyway, I go into Firehound or Flamehound and go for the Heat Wave. I have no idea why I put Heat Wave on this thing. I have no idea whatsoever. But anyway, he goes into Latios now, and uh, there's not much I can do with Flamehound against this thing. So I'm going to go into Dusclops, and uh, honestly, the only thing I can really take it out is Heracross. Um, so I'm going to need Heracross to beat this guy, and I know it. Uh, to beat Spade, I'm, I absolutely need him. Anyway, he's going to switch out Fearing the Toxic. But um, I kind of predicted he may switch, fearing something like that. And so I actually go for the Seismic Toss and get some nice damage off. Uh, now, the problem with running either Seismic Toss or Nightshade is the fact that you're still going to be walled in some ways. Anyway, I go for the Will-O-Wisp, which was, in hindsight, really stupid because uh, now he knows that he doesn't have to worry about the Toxic. And so he can set up all over uh, Dusclops with his... Uh, call mind Latias, uh, so that's mistake number one. I revealed a move I shouldn't have. Mistake number two, right here. I went to Heracross. It's the only thing that can beat him, and I've gone into him. And this is a bad Pokemon to use against Ferrothorn. I could have gone into my Fortress, which toted the Hidden Power Fire. Hidden Power Fire. I could have destroyed it four times super effective, and in the sun. Uh, and so I could have destroyed him with that instead of risking Heracross. And that Gyro Ball does a ton of damage. I thought he'd have Power Whip. Um, most Ferrothorn I run into have the Power Whip because uh, Steel doesn't have that many things that hit super effectively. While uh, Power Whip helps you get past uh, things like Gastrodon. Anyway, uh, he makes a nice play. And he's really just juggling around. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Endure as he goes for Shadow Ball. Um, and now... I really don't have a choice except to go for the uh, Megahorn, but he's going to play very smart again. Uh, kind of expected considering how many games he's probably played. Uh, three years on YouTube, I believe, uh, is what he just celebrated. Anyway, uh, just kills off the last thing that could have given me a chance of winning this game. And now the rest of the match is me having my three kind of more tanky Pokemon, although Ninetales isn't really a tank. Anyway, this is what I should have done instead of going into Heracross. Boom! Hidden Power Fire. Outspeed it and destroy it. Should have done that. Didn't. Uh, there's no other thing I can say about that. That was a horrid play on my part. Um, and when playing at this kind of level, I can't make those mistakes. Anyway, he goes into Latios. Latios. <laughs> And uh, basically, this thing is just going to destroy me. Uh, I'm going to set up my Stealth Rock. And uh, yeah, at this point, I know this game is over. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch because Dusclops is the only thing that can actually do any damage. Mostly because it's got Pain Split and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, at this point, he, he pulls out Reflect-type. What? I haven't even seen anyone use this move, but it proves to be perfect against my Dusclops because now he's a ghost, Seismic Toss is useless, now I'm meaning I have to go for Shadow Sneak. But here's the funny thing, after I get the paint split off, get back up to full HP, uh, that does a nice chunk load of damage uh, to him, but now I'm going to have to go for Shadow Sneak, it's super effective, does some good damage, but he has Recover. Uh-oh. Uh, Ninetales will not appreciate anything this guy fires at me. He's a mono dragon pulse attacker, apparently. He gets a crit in, and oops. Of course I forgot about reflect type. I mean, uh, you never see a reflect type. <laughs> where, does, where does it even come from? So, completely, wow, I did not see it coming, and that really helps ruin things even more. I mean, I was still going to lose, but it, it just made it even more painful to watch. Um, but if I'd been smart, I would have gone into Fortress, destroyed Ferrothorn with the surprise Hidden Power Fire. I had not revealed it yet, so I could have done that. No problem, especially since the sun is out. Um, I think it's out, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, destroyed him with the Hidden Power Fire, and uh, then I could have gone into Heracross, uh, gone for a sword stance on something that I could, or just endure and start reversal and mega horning everything. And Moxie boosts would have taken out the rest of his team. He had no priority left. 
uh, except potentially Gengar with like Shadow Sneak, but I highly doubt it as it's a physical hit. Um, and so I could have won this game with a Heracross sweep. It would have been great if I had played smart. I mean, it would have been mainly because I surprised him with a Hidden Power Fire, and uh, knowing the caliber of play that this is, I can't guarantee that I would have won, but I would have had a lot better chance. Um, Latios could not have walled, uh, would not have been able to take a Mega Horn, uh, unless, of course, he got the Reflect type off, but I still would outsped and smashed with the reversal the next turn, got the Moxie boost, and Gengar would not have appreciated that, but that, this entire part was just basically me waiting to die. He fires off like a plus four, plus five, something like that, Dragon Pulse. I survived, but I missed the Heat Wave, and that's just another reason why. Why do I even have Heat Wave on this set? I, I don't even remember why I had Heat Wave on this set. I really don't. Um, this was like my first actually viable competitive team, but as you can tell, there are some issues that still need to be worked out. Uh, Desclops' EV spread needs to be changed, uh, and I'll probably actually just get rid of Dusclops. I mean, as much as I love Dusclops, uh, there are better options for a wall and OU. Uh, Gliscor, for example, if I want physical, and so on and so forth. But man alive <laughs> that second match was really good and uh, nice shout out to the flaming spade he's a great youtube battler if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so um, anyway hope you enjoyed and uh, later